short update I'll, uh, I'll add to this a bit later but uh, we've pretty much painted um, got a bit of ceiling left to do start on the electric shortly back walls white rest of its blue need to trim those uh, edges does need another coat this does I'll, uh, I'll get another coat on I'll do a bit more work and I'll give you an update Fast forward a few hours from earlier, and um, this is uh, still drying, but we've, we've put two coats on there. We are going to surround that window and put a new windowsill over the top. But the painting's pretty much done. Still got little bits to do, um, so I've got to do some stuff. I'm going to cap these with, uh, with, with a plastic capping. Um, I've sourced what I need to do for it. The... Um, Two coats of paint have been done, still need to do the wall, the door, sorry. Um, still need to put skirting board in, which I will. Um, probably do that tomorrow. Um, the um, capping for these windows will be the same as this here. So it will just finish that off nicely. Um, ventilation then. So the, um, the AC unit slash heat pump. That's going to have some ducting, some flat ducting, flat channel ducting across here. Um, so we can sort of get that out roughly there and move it around where we need to. I've, um, I've done a little bit. So some of the electrics are in, but not all of them. So that the moment, now there's no loads of wires hanging and stuff. Um, I've got some sockets in, need to just tidy up that trunk in. But uh, we're getting there. So hopefully um, tomorrow... I should have the plumber coming in, so the plumber, I've got to paint the door, but the plumber's going to come in and drop me a water feed in, um, round here somewhere, so that's, uh, and drainage, and then we can get all our cabinets and worktops and stuff and get, get cracking with that, but a um, bit of a plan, so uh, skirting's down there, but um, the plumber's going to take that spare board as well, so the plan's going to be to sort of clear this corner, paint the door, um, get all that completely finished, Ceilings painted, uh, floor painted again, another coat on the floor. And then the idea is that we're going to sort of empty and get rid of stuff on that rack. That rack will move. Um, empty the, the rack that we moved it onto, onto that one. Put another 900 there. I was going to put two 900s, but I think I'm going to change it slightly uh, and have a longer worktop with an open area and put buckets and stuff like that under. So this should be a 900 and a 1200, which will come to roughly about here. Roughly about here. So it pretty much covers that wall. Um, and then it is literally just a case of electrics up in that area. Um, I'm going to have four double sockets there on a ring main. Um, looped back into the, the, the wiring. We'll spur off for some ceiling lights um, like this one here. Um, so as you can see we've tidied all that wiring up uh, but this is temporary still so I need to run cabling around and stuff but um, I reckon about another week and we should be relatively sort of close to finishing uh, my new tank rack my 1200 is due to be delivered on the 28th of April so as soon as that's here um, I'll get a couple of tanks cycling and I'm probably going to just move some stuff in anyway and um, hopefully by sort of mid-May, um, we'll, we'll, we'll be completely finished and we'll have tank cycling ready to put stock on. So at the moment I've got um, a, a dehumidifier in here, so that co that's collecting at the moment, but obviously we've, we've had wet plaster and uh, wet paint and stuff. So yeah, get in there. So if you've, uh, if you've enjoyed this one or any of our, our series, we will put them together at the end. Uh, apologies for keep doing some horizontal and some vertical i forget when i record them but um hopefully the next one will be a hundred percent percent maybe not quite but a hundred percent done thanks for watching guys bye bye